Okay, here we are. I got a 2014 Dodge Ram 3500, and the owner's manual tells you to grease this fitting every time you change the oil or 7,500 miles. Now, some people have told me that they've gone quite a bit more than 7,500 miles. This truck has 9,400 on it, but they have a lot of trouble finding this grease point, and it's easy to understand why. So here we are. This is the rear of the front drive shaft a couple u-joints transfer case cross member right here so it's kind of hard to see to begin with but if you look up here on the front u-joint of the front drive shaft and you start to rotate it you'll notice on this one there's a little indent on the u-joint it's hard to see so I'll point it out again so you're going to rotate your drive shaft until you see, see if you look in this one, it's flat. And you look in here, it's got a little divot right there. Just in front of that divot, the grease point. There's a good shot of it, right there. It's just a tiny little guy. Now your regular grease gun isn't going to hook onto that. It's got a little hole in the center of it and a ball on a spring. But it's not the type of grease zerk that is on every other vehicle in the world. So what you got to do is go to your auto parts store and buy a needle that fits into your grease gun. Now they make two different types. They make one that looks like the kind that go on the old chainsaws where you pump it and it's got a hole in the center. And they make a needle that looks like the syringe that the doctor uses to get blood or medicine and that's the kind that my part store had so I bought it and just snaps into the grease gun and it had a really sharp point on it but I ground it off now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this and I'm gonna try to do this with two hands it's gonna be kind of hard here and you reach up over the <coughs> cross member and you're gonna take that needle point and you're gonna put it directly on The grease point there it's kind of hard to show you but you just hold it firmly in the center now it's not going to go in it's just going to go on and what you're going to do is you're going to take your other hand and you're going to pump that until you see grease to come out on this u-joint see a little bit of grease oozing out there now i only put about a pump and a half in this that's all it took and it might be a little bit much that's going to sling grease everywhere now because i can't really get up there and clean it but there's your grease point right there and there's the needle you need to buy works good kind of a pain in the neck but all in all not that bad